to find us right outside now the M Shed, which is a pro proper famous part of Bristol. I've never actually been there myself. Yeah, I was going to ask you what, what's it famous for. Apparently, it's a very cool museum. So yeah, <laughs> yeah a day off Magnus, might go together. Actually, I've not been there yet. Yeah, I mean, uh, make a difference from the entire part of town, wouldn't it? I mean, 100. Yeah. But, um, first question: Let's see, How are you settling it? Yeah, settling really well. Um, got a flat side. Uh, my missus has managed to sort everything out in it. I mean, I've been doing that next to nothing with it. Um, but now nah, the boys have been really welcoming. Um, had a good chance to socialise and get away from the from the club a bit, which has been good to get to know people. So no, nah, I'm I'm happy, mate, and I'm looking forward to the season. So you moved into a pretty good area, to be fair. Did you get any advice from anyone before you come? Because where you're living, there's always things to do right now. Yeah, I think I spoke to all the rich people from the club that said Clifton's the best part to Not live. Not me, then. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's a great spot. Um, lots of stuff going on, coffee shops, uh, boozers and stuff like that. Great spots to eat, so. Yeah, we, had a, we had a good night, didn't we, one time? Don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I took it on myself, basically, to show Magnus around the area. So when the boys went to France to pay brief, I think it was about five of us met for yeah, some food. Yeah. And some of us got thirsty. So um, I took it on myself to take Magnus around a few spots. And then we had a good time. So it's the best. That's, what, that's what I'm going to tell you. Yeah, let's keep it at that. <laughs> it's, uh, the, it's the best way to get to know people. <laughs> See you. And a good test as well. When new players come in, straight away, you don't want someone who didn't put his hand in his pocket, who won't get around in. And Magnus, fair play to him, got his hand in his pocket a few times. So. Oh, Magnus. Yeah, we've been here for he's, years. You've been here not, for years, you'll put your hand in your pocket yeah, exactly, once. Right? Yeah, he's not one of the tight ones, which is good. Uh, take one more. Come on. Yeah, take um, one. Drop him in. Put you in a spot here. So, favourite part about Bristol and the favourite thing about Edinburgh? Favourite part don't about be, Bristol? Don't be biased. Don't be biased. Don't be biased. Um, favourite part about Bristol is just there's always something going on, it seems like. No matter where you go, there's always it's always busy. Yeah, okay, there's always something going on. There's murals everywhere, which is culturally cool. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, favorite thing about Edinburgh? I don't know. There's lots of things I like about Edinburgh, rather than just one thing down here. But it's home, isn't it? They're it's home. home. Yeah, exactly. It's home. Uh, it's probably. I feel like people have been to Edinburgh. It's quite a unique city in terms of how it feels and the architecture and stuff. But to be honest, one thing I do prefer down here is, is the weather. It's been warmer. It's not been snowing yet. It's been good so far. Oh, so you was very lucky, weren't you? The first game was in the Prussia shirt. It's Bath. Yeah. But home. Obviously, a very big crowd. You probably sensed the, the feeling. The occasion. Yeah. So, what was? How did you find that build up to it and in the game day? Oh, I loved it. I mean, I, I didn't want to come in and sort of put myself above out in the mix and stuff like that. But just being around you boys and the chat that was all going with that um, it was a pretty special occasion. And to win as well, first win at home, first win for me in a Bristol shirt was absolutely class. I mean, the crowd was amazing. The result was amazing. I mean, apart from getting postponed by 24 hours. Yeah. It was, it was a great day and from what I understand a lot of home games are brilliant in that respect yeah. with the fans, they're all mad, they're all, they all love Bristol Rugby. So no talk of your debut try then, I'll only drop that then? No, 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 I would never talk about that. <laughs> That's probably my favourite bit. Uh, <laughs> how uh, obviously Genji knows what it means to us and yeah. obviously getting his two tries and the leadership you've shown, you've shown in the week as well and you, you got it straight away. Is there a big rivalry between Edinburgh and Glasgow? Was there? Or? Yeah, yeah, it, it's huge, um, but it's quite consistent in the respect that it's always. Oh, <laughs> it's ready. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite in, in Edinburgh. It's always Christmas time we play them. It's always last game of the season. It has been the past couple of years, but I think the special thing for me was the first game for Bristol was the biggest, arguably the biggest one the season for you guys, um, yeah. and it's it's been class. Well, let's just get around this. This is a bit of a silly one, but obviously you know you wouldn't think for a night out. Actually, mm -hmm. I like my fatters. I've noticed. So, um, yeah, come on, edit that bit. <laughs> so, what would you pick? What's your favourite, fatters or iron brew? I'm gonna have to go with fatters here. Yeah. Fatters. Yeah, I'm gonna have fatures. to. Proud favourite already. Yeah. Well, it's alcoholic. Or alcoholic. What's, what's your what's your flavour? Are you straight just fatters gold, or are you liking like, your lemon? What do we have that night? The haze. Patrick's Hayes, Patrick yeah. Hayes was good, yeah. I enjoyed that, yeah. He was down a bit too, too didn't Yeah, I? I know, day two, that'd be lovely as well. Take the edge off. <laughs> There's another thing as well, I don't want to embarrass you. I forgot the last question, so I have, have to look, sorry. I'm trying to make it look natural, but <laughs> I've messed this up. Pat's, Pat's so, calling yeah. Me. Do you know the words to the Blackbird? No, you don't I don't. Know I need to learn them, because I stand there like an idiot clapping along. And we're winning quite a lot recently. Yeah, as well, I know, so. I know. But the main thing is, like, I say to some boys, like, 
especially the Fijian lads, like it's a second language and let's be honest, Blackbird's not really English either. <laughs> so uh, as long as you bring energy, bang some walls, jump up and down. Oh yeah. That's that's good enough for us, I think. Fine. And, um, let's see if I mess this up. I know that, just one thing I forgot. <laughs> 